uh, hi guys welcome back so this is our another video and maybe the last one for this playlist and here we are talking about the integration with the sqs with the serverless so with the help of serverless we are actually creating one sender and another is a receiver right this is how the sqs works right you send a message through some lambda or some uh, some code in this in, in our case it's a lambda lambda is actually sending a message to the sqs and there is a subscriber or you can say the receiver which is receiving the message from the sqs queue and uh, this is http path i mean this is integrated to the api gateway there is a rest endpoints through which we are calling this lambda this lambda is has some code which is doing sqs dot send message and then there is a receiver which is actually uh, which is a lambda trigger for that sqs this is the lambda trigger for the sqs which is whenever there is a message is arriving on to that sqs this lambda is getting executed and it is receiving the message we can just talk about the sender right this is same as the any other lambda function we are getting the account id creating the q url and calling this simple message sqs.send message and this lambda is being triggered from the rest endpoint right because we have the http binding http event binding for this lambda this will be exposed to the api gateway api gateway will through some method method is also defined here http get for this v1 std post for the v v1 and sender right so sender will get the data from the event object so here this is we are getting the data event dot body we are sending the, the whole body to the sqs sqs dot send message if everything is fine we are returning the status code 200 with the message okay now the same thing is now this message is on the sqs there is already a a lambda trigger for that sqs which is a receiver so receiver will receive that message similarly this uh, lambda trigger will execute you will get the the lambda message this is how you can get the the message event dot record zero dot body and we are just parsing that and sending it back in the response okay so this is simple uh, serverless integration with the sqs sns s3 and all these examples we have covered I will be updating this GitHub repository. So if you want to run this using a simple commands using SLS deploy, you should be able to do it. Okay. Uh, thanks everyone. Thanks for watching this playlist. If you have any feedback comments, please add that in the comments and also subscribe the channel. If you really like the content, this is serverless and there can be n number of examples. I covered only the basic services so that you can get an idea how to write a serverless YML and how to do the integration with other additional services we have on AWS. Okay, uh, thanks everyone.